Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 597, primarily in a row. My name is Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's Friday. That means it's an F it Friday, which is your weekly reminder to take your shot. Nothing great happens without taking some risk. Just a reminder, right? You're going to eventually have to do that. Either that or you're going to leave a, lead a life of mediocrity. And I know you don't want that. Neither do I. It's a work day. It's 6, 5, 20. It's time to get to work. So let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? Proud. Proud of my kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, um, we just had a good day yesterday, right? I was able to get a lot done. Moving the office back in here has helped tremendously because my stalkers like it when they know where I'm at and they can see me. Um, still not as productive as I'd like to be, but it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> under our real talk, we all have to speak up, right? So the, this story came out about how a um, couple stories came out, you know, where, um, you know, there was one where a coach had called uh, a kid the N-word in practice at Clemson, right? Which is like, you know, one of the powerhouses. And uh, a student athlete spoke up. It's like, hey, don't act like you, you're you above this stuff, talking to the, the coach. It's like, and of course, he waited until he was in the NFL to say something. But my point is this, is that in the moment, by now, we see, see see something that looks, doesn't like, eh, that doesn't feel right. We have to speak up then, right then and there, and not be afraid of what happens because I just don't, even if something does happen, it's going to be temporary pain, right? Like if you were to get fired for speaking up or something like that, that's fine. You'll take your pain. But I think in the long run, especially today, like we just, and again, it's good. It's like the me too thing. It's going to take people a minute to be comfortable. But like, yeah, so they're not going to fire me and take all my shit. But like, oh, they'll try. Don't worry. They'll try. No doubt about it. But we have to speak up. We all have to speak up. And the more power any of us have, the more we need to speak up. Right. Just can't allow this to happen anymore. Right. There are things that we can do. There's things we can't do. All we can do is we can control ourselves. And we know when we're in a moment, and we're like, I don't like what's happening right here. You got to speak up. Just like those police officers that watch that thing go down uh, up in Minneapolis. It's always this way. It's the herd mentality that like you have one bad person, people are scared of them and they allow that person to then just terrorize somebody else. Like, don't do it. We don't even have to do this anymore. We all have to speak up, right? I know it sounds simple. It's not easy, right? And not everybody's going to do it, but eventually we're going to have to. If we want real change, we got to speak up. We got to stand up for each other. All right. On to my thank yous and we're done for the day. Number one, God is good. God's been good to us in the good times, the bad. No denying that. Thankful for my hat. Godfather stopped by last night, handed that to me. Pretty cool, huh? Right? See, that's where we live. Northeast corner, BF, okay. Uh, thankful for Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell played on Addison's basketball team. And um, we were able to see him a couple months ago, but uh, reached out and said, hey, you know, got this beautiful backyard. You want to come over and have a play date with Sissy? So they came over last night, uh, Mitchell and his dad, and we were able to just sit around and chat. His dad, Brandon, good guy, but he's one of those Jordan people that thinks Michael Jordan's better than LeBron James. I'm like, bro, we don't have to agree on everything, and you're more than welcome to come over here, but the more you talk about how Michael Jordan's better than LeBron James, the closer you're you're going to be sitting to the curb, bro. Ah, house rules. Um, so, I, I'm, you know, when I was talking about proud, I was just proud of a couple things that the kids did. Number one, uh, bro, Samuel T. is learning life skills. He's up early this morning. At 6.30 this morning, made himself breakfast. Now he's outside just relaxing. Seriously. Um, so Jack has learned how to, he's got this little, little table and chairs. You know, it's kind of like plastic stuff and the legs come off. And he's learned how to take that apart. But then he learned how to put the legs on a stool and was so proud of himself that he built this stool that was tall. I was just so proud of him. So cute. And then Addison is just, I mean, that little girl is just the most amazing helper, right? And just... Um, I've just never experienced love like I have with her. So just very proud, very thankful for all of them. Um, and I'm thankful for Drew Brees, right? I'm thankful for that Drew Brees took his medicine yesterday and was like, look, that is not at all what I'm about. And I believe him. I believe that, you know, he was speaking and he was being sincere when he was speaking, but he was speaking from his perspective without consideration of others. And, um, I don't think Drew is the kind of guy that just says stuff and then doesn't follow through. So I'm thankful for him and I'm thankful for the NBA who announced their plan. They, they're, uh, they're coming back. They'll be playing basketball here in a couple weeks. So one, 
the power curve, it feels like we're on the correct side of the power curve. We just have to keep it going, right? And as a reminder, when we see something that, that doesn't make sense, we got to speak up. We got to protect one another and those of us who have more power, right? And you know what I'm talking about, right? Like if you're in a position of authority uh, to where you can make things happen and you see something happening that's not right, you got to intervene, even and especially if it impacts you. With that, I'm done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on an Epic Friday. I'm going to be on the road this afternoon. I'll be back tomorrow morning from the road. we got a road game tomorrow morning, right, on a Savage Saturday because, uh, you know, my, my services are in high demand for reals. All right. We'll talk to you later. This is Hashtag Real Talk. Love you guys. Bye.